Hello friends, in this video we will learn about how to calculate work done in case of several forces acting on a system. So let's say if you have a system on which several forces are acting, it can be friction, normal reaction and applied external force. If several forces are acting, how do you calculate the total amount of work? Basically in that case there are two ways by which you can calculate the total amount of work done. In the first method what you can do is you can calculate work done by each forces and then you sum up to get the total amount of work. In another method you can find the resultant force and then you can multiply by the displacement that is the resultant displacement and then you can, you can get the total amount of work done. So there are two methods by which you can calculate the total work. Now let us illustrate these two methods using an example. So here I have an example. So this is a tractor and this farmer is trying to pull this uh, basically woods. So these woods are kept on a sledge and this person, this farmer is trying to pull using a tractor. Now the bit of this wooden block or wooden heap is given and that bit is 14,700 Newton. So let's write it here. So W is given, so W is the bit of this wooden thing that is 14,700 14, Newton. Now he applies a force, basically tractor applies a force of 5,000 Newton at angle of 36.9 degree. So this force that is applied by tractor, so let's call this force is FT. So this force is applied through a chain and this has a magnitude of 5000 Newton. And this is, this force is making an angle phi from the horizontal and this angle is given. So this angle is phi, this angle is 36.9 degree. So this thing is given. And we have been also given that he pulls by a distance of 20 meters. So basically initially it is here and then finally this moves by a distance s of 20 meter. Moreover, there is a friction force and the magnitude of friction force is 3500 Newton which opposes the motion of sledge. So basically sledge is moving in this direction but the friction force try to oppose the motion so this will act in this direction. So this friction force let's call F that is 3500 Newton that acts in the opposite direction of the motion. So we have to find the total amount of work done by each force acting on the sledge and the total work done by all the forces. So we have to find basically individual work done by each forces and we have to also calculate the total work done by all the forces. So let us do by first method. So as I said there are two methods. In the first method what I can do is we can find force of work done by each forces and then we can sum. In the next method what we can do is we can find the net force and then multiply by the displacement to get the total amount of the work done. So let us first use the first method to find the total work done. So before proceeding further we have to make the free body diagram that is the what are the forces that is acting. So on this bait is acting that is mz on this sledge there is also a normal reaction that will act and there is a friction force that is acting and this tractor force that is FT. Same thing I can show something here. So this is weight and this is friction force and normal reaction that is acting in the upward direction. And this force that is due to the tractor, this is acting in this direction. And this has an angle phi. So now we have to find work done due to each forces. So let us first find work done due to bait. So we can find 
work done due to weight that is W. So if you remember work is nothing but F dot displacement. Now displacement is in this direction. Let's call this as X direction and call this as a Y direction. So displacement is in the X direction and weight is in the Y direction. So there is an angle of 90 degree. So angle between displacement and weight is 90 degree. So this work done will be zero. If you remember, I can write this as a magnitude of S, magnitude of F cos phi and in this case phi is 90 degree. So work done is zero. So work done due to weight in this case is zero. Similarly, you can find work done due to normal reaction. Work done due to normal reaction. That is normal force. Once again, the normal reaction is in the y direction and the displacement is in the x direction because this slice is moving in this direction, that is the x direction. So normal reaction and x, that is the displacement, makes an angle of 90 degree. So work done in this case, once again, will be zero. Now let us find work done due to tractor. So tractor is applying a force Ft. So we can write work done due to tractor. So this work done that is W is equals to F dot S. So this is F dot S that is nothing but magnitude of F, magnitude of S and cos phi. So now everything is given. F is given that is nothing but 5000 Newton. And we have been given that displacement is 20 meter. So if you remember, this slice has moved by an amount of 20 meter. And the angle is also given that is cos of 36.9 degree. So if you calculate all this, this will turn out to be 80 kilojoule. Now we can find work done due to friction. One important point when we are finding work done due to the friction, that is the angle phi. Friction is acting in this direction, that is the negative x direction. And the displacement is along the x direction. So there is an angle of 180 degree. You see the friction force is acting in this direction and the displacement is in this direction. So angle is 180 degree. So we can find work done due to the friction. So work done due to friction. So this work again W is equals to F dot S and in this case friction force magnitude is given, displacement magnitude is given and the cos angle will be 180 degree because this angle is 180 degree. So we can write friction force is given that is 3500 Newton and displacement is given that is 20 meter and cos 180 is nothing but minus 1. So if you calculate all this, this will come 70 kilojoule of work with a negative sign. So friction is doing negative work, but the tractor force act is doing a basically a positive work. So now we can calculate total amount of work. So that is total work. So this will be work done due to weight. So this is W denotes weight. Work done due to normal reaction. So N denotes normal reaction. And work done due to tractor plus work done due to friction. So if you remember we calculated work done due to weight is zero because this is a perpendicular force. Normal reaction is zero and work done due to tractor we just calculated this is a positive work that is 80 kilojoule and due to friction this is a negative work that is minus 70 kilojoule. So if you sum all together this will turn out to be 10 kilojoule of work. 
so we can say the total work done by the tractor and all the forces so we can write total work is nothing but this is equals to 10 kilojoule we can get the same answer using the second approach in that case we can consider the resultant force so let us use second approach that is second method so if you remember the free body diagram in this direction you have friction in this direction you have normal reaction in this direction you have weight and in this direction you have motion that is displacement and this force is force due to tractor and this angle is phi now in this method we have to calculate the resultant force now since i know that perpendicular force does not do any work because of the angle f dot s angle is 90 degree so the work done by the perpendicular force is zero so we will use this point as advantage so what i will do is we will calculate all the forces only in the x direction so there is no need to calculate the force in the y direction because i know that the forces in the y direction will contribute to zero amount of work so let us calculate total force in the x direction So the tractor is applying a force so we can take the x component of this force so this will become f t cos phi and this is in the positive direction of x axis. There is another force in the x direction that is friction force but this is in the negative direction so we have to write minus f. So we can calculate the value f t is 5000 newton and then we have to multiply cos of 36.9 degree minus friction force that is 3500 newton so if you calculate this this will come 500 newton so this is the total force that is acting in the x direction so now we can calculate the total work done so that is total work done in this case i have to only consider the x component because i know the work done by the y component is zero so we have to only consider the x component of resultant forces so we can write work done is equal to summation of all the forces in vectorial notation and then we have to take the dot product with displacement now since I know summation of all the forces I have to only consider in the x direction so same thing I can also write summation of x fx and then I have to simply multiply the displacement in the x direction and in this case the displacement is given in the x direction that is 20 meter so we can multiply all these forces. So now I know summation of all the forces is 500 Newton in the x direction. So this is 500 Newton and the displacement is 20 meter. So if you calculate this, this will come 10 kilojoule. And this value is same as the previous value. So using method 1, we also calculated the total amount of work that is 10 kilojoule using method 2nd we also calculated the total amount of work done is again 10 kilojoule. So in summary, we can use either of the method. You can either use a resultant force method or you can calculate work done by individual forces and then you can sum and you will get the total amount of work done. So it depends upon you and it also depends upon problem to problem where you can easily apply which method and then you can calculate the total amount of work. So hope you like this video and I will discuss more about the work energy theorem, work energy problems in the next video. Thank you.